Good morning, everyone. I don't have to be quiet because, as you can tell, we are now in the old train room, the new Lego room, kind of the all purpose junk room shop right now because I've got a couple projects going on. Still kind of shocked that I ever took down the trains, but no going back now. Anyways, I wanted to give you an update on the mock before it got a little too big because I won't be able to show you the inside once I get a little closer. Didn't clean up completely, but thought I'd at least move some of the stuff away. I'll show you over here. <laughs> you can see some of the clear tiles down there. Those were to give me the window alignment for these windows all along the bank there. But I wanted to show you kind of what I've done for structural support. I originally took out all of the structure and then when I was building it, it got a little too weak. So here you can see a central column. This actually isn't designed for vertical support. It's actually designed for horizontal support. I use these plates right here to make sure I could get all of these cross braces um, all the way across. This primary function is to support the curve because right here right in between the straight walls and the curve is very unstable in fact if I, you know you can if i wiggle it this is the the most unstable part because with these stud on side pieces i can't get the two brick deep with the windows without blocking the windows and this doesn't tie in directly until we get to this point. And you can see I actually have to go two hinges out before it actually aligns and connects. So what I've done, you can see it a little bit better back here. I've used some plates to stagger and then pin that in. And I don't know if I can get down there enough, but right here I used some 1x5 supports and then I used an arch at the top. I didn't want to use a plate because I wanted to make sure this had enough strength and as you know arches are one of the strongest architectural um, pieces or designs that there are. And so I used an arch, put the inverted slope piece up there and then was able to secure it and this way by using the one by fives I didn't block the window and you could barely have pieces of arch up here kind of blocking and then I did the same thing over here might be able to see this one a little bit better and I used a one by six arch um, instead of a one by four arch on the other side down in the bottom you can see I layered the entire thing with black plates. I did this to, for two reasons. One, when I, you look through the window, I didn't want you to see the green base plate. And it looked really bad when I did that. Two, plate on plate holds really well. And it holds all of the six base plates that form this building together quite nicely. I also layered this section right here with black plates because when you looked through the windows right here you could see all the tan bricks and it just didn't look very well final thing i've got is i did some vertical braces not vertical horizontal braces right here and here these aren't for any horiz or <laughs> I can't get my direction straight. These are not for any vertical support whatsoever. They are just to make sure that these walls don't eventually buckle. I don't know if I will do them every two stories like I have here, or if I will just do it one more about eight stories up. Um, as you can tell, I actually have four stories completely done. The curve is up to six. Obviously, well, I guess I shouldn't say completely done. I still have to do the decorative finishes, but getting tiles is a royal pain in this color. In fact, getting almost all bricks in this color is a pain. 
but that's where we are you know the back don't know if I like the way I did that, but it's too late to go back now, so we will just keep going. I still think it looks good from this angle, and we will see you next time. Oh, well, I guess I ought to mention, here's your next clue. This building was built between 1907 and 1910. If anybody has a guess as to what it is, I'd love to hear your guess. See you later.